been so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. So Lawrence and I are just at Manchester Airport. We are on our way to our honeymoon. We're going to Disney World for two weeks and then we're going to New York. So we're just heading to the V room now where we're gonna wait. So we're just gonna find somewhere to sit and then we're gonna go and get some breakfast. Yes, we're in the food room, eating our food, and we got our little presents. Very pretty. I'll show you the food room. See, there's the outside where we're not, thankfully. <laughs> Let's have a little stall, look around. See, we got a lounge. Some cocktails in the bar for later. As you can see, all fairly comfy and fancy. So definitely will put me and the wife in a nice relaxing mood while we wait for our flights. Which it'll do a half hour, so we've got a nice two hours, I think, and a half relaxing in here. Ain't that with you? Yeah, that's right. Alright, so. Ugh. Sorry, Ting Say. I bet you wish you was. <laughs> Enjoy your Monday morning. Start off the honeymoon. My full sofa and a breakfast. The wife trying to lock in. <laughs> And our thing. So easy, we can't lock in the fortune. <laughs> well, I guess we'll get there eventually. We have got a nice carrot waiting for us, so we got a little surprise on our way. You feeling a bit lot better than this morning, ain't you? Much better. Yes. Bad stomach. Very bad. <laughs> Everything's okay now, so we're going to have some food and enjoy. So it's nearly time for our flight to board now, so I thought I'd just quickly show you the food that they have on offer and then give you a quick look around the bee room. Had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't
so we just have one of the guys we go up and we're just about to go and check in. So I thought I'd give you a quick room tour. We're staying in the Coronado Springs Resort, um, which is sort of like an Aztec sort of theme, like southwestern theme. So you get two queen size beds. Each bed has these big wooden headboards and these lights above the bed as well. On the bed we've got a Mickey head shaped towel and then we've got this bed runner which has got little hidden Mickeys on it which is really cute. We also have this little cushion with hidden Mickeys on it on there. And then next to the bed we have this little bedside table with the phone on. And over here we have the bathroom space so we've got these two big wooden doors so you can like close off the bathroom if you want a bit of privacy. Then behind the doors you've got this big sink um and a big mirror as well so that's nice now here we've got some little toiletries we've got body lotion shower gel shampoo and conditioner and also a little soap as well which is nice then if we go over here into the actual bathroom we've just got the toilet and then we've also got uh, the bath and then over the bath there is a shower head there so you can have a nice shower so on the right side of the sink we have this little area here where you can hang your clothes. Uh, opposite the bed we have this unit which has a coffee maker on. Then underneath there is a little fridge. And it also has six drawers where you can keep your clothes. And on top there's a TV. And next to that is this little desk with a chair. And above the desk is this little mirror. And next to that is two little stools where you can have a where you can sit down. And that's the end of the room tour. So we've just come to the pub park, which is the food place at our resort. We're just going to get something quick to eat before we head out to our own So we've got some fast passes.
there I can see that saddle bill stork getting its name from the saddle it has on its bill. It's a little yellow thing on there. It's a fairly antisocial bird. It actually communicates in an interesting way though. Instead of tweeting or chirping or squawking, it actually chatters its bill a little bit. It kind of sounds like a hollow clapping sound. On your left there you can also see the black rhino. There's only about 5,000 of those guys left in the wild, making them extremely endangered. As the sun sets, we're making our way into the Sofi River Zone. The Sofi River is home to a couple of beautiful animals known as the Nile Hippopotamus and the Nile Crocodile. Now, which of the two do you think is the more dangerous of the two, the hippo or the crocodile? Hippo. Uh, hippo, that's hippo. right, is the most dangerous animal in Africa. The Nile hippopotamuses, they can run about 30 miles per hour on land, are extremely territorial, and eat about 80 to 90 pounds of food every day. They spend most of their days underwater, only coming up every eight minutes to get a fresh breath of air. I see a group of them over here. Now, a group of hippopotamuses are not known as a pack or a herd or anything like that. They're known as a bloat, a bloat of hippopotamuses. On the left there, those large birds sitting on that little island there, one just yawning for us. That's the pinkback pelican. They may be thinking, hey, those look kind of white and black to me. They don't look pink at all. Well, you'd be correct. They only turn pink during mating season, which is where they get their name from. And here we are on the Serengeti. It looks like the sun is setting here on the Serengeti. Over on the right here, you're going to see some Ankhole cattle. Holy cattle are actually known also as Watusi cattle, named after the Watusi tribe that domesticated them many years ago. They're also known as the Egyptian longhorn, and you may be noticing how long those horns actually are. They're about three to four feet in length. They can be up to 20 inches in diameter, or not diameter, excuse me, circumference. They are hollow, so they're not heavy at all. They're actually vascular, meaning that they have blood that runs through them. They're actually used as a cooling unit. And these guys on the right here, these are Patterson's eland, the largest of the antelope in all of Africa. Now both male and female have horns, which is incredibly rare for antelope. Yeah, I don't see the honey in this to you. The two apart. Actually, you have a good spot there of how you can tell them apart. That large one right there, and that's no. the male. That must these be other animal. ones right here are all female. Looks like one's gonna cross the road here. Of course, here in Africa, animals do have the right of way. Now, coming up on your right, this large herd of animals as well is the wildebeest. The wildebeest actually comes from Afrikaans, which means wild beast. Well, the native Africans, they know them as something completely different. They're known as Nu, spelled G N U. It actually comes from the sound that they like to make. Sounds kind of like a domestic cow booing. And you may have noticed these kind of red rock formations here on the Serengeti. These are termite mounds, made of dung, dirt, and clay, and even saliva. They're about as hard as rock, as cement, excuse me. Elephants like to use them and actually use them as back scratchers. These guys here on the right, these are water buck. They get their name from the way that they actually hang around watering holes. If you can kind of notice, they kind of have a shiny, sort of oily substance on their skin. They actually use that to make themselves waterproof. So when predators actually come around the watering holes, they can dive in. Predators can't get to them. And they get to hang around their habitat for a little bit longer. Yeah. Over here on the left, this is a uh, oh, side giraffe. You can see a baby one all the way in the back there. These guys are the tallest land animal, reaching feet uh, 
about 18 to 20 feet in length. Excuse me. It's an average newborn calf is six feet tall. And they get the name Masai after the jagged sort of broken pattern that they have on their pelt there. Actually, every two giraffes' pelts are no, uh, are not the same. Kind of like how you and I have a unique fingerprint, thumbprint. They have a very unique pattern on them. And on your left here, coming up, I see a herd of elephants. Elephants are very dangerous. In fact, the greatest threat to elephants are humans. They are poached for their beautiful ivory tusks. And on your left here are some greater flamingos. Greater actually means bigger. Now, do you guys know what a group of flamingos are called? It's actually a flamboyance of flamingo. And why is pink of all the flamingo getting their light pink hue from their diet of brine shrimp? sure about that. On your left there is a white rhino. Oh, it's hard to see right now, but he's actually not white at all. He actually gets that name from the word vite, which in Afrikaans means why. Speaking of big cats, I see a coping rock formation, and at the top of it I see a male lion. These guys actually sleep about 16 to 20 hours out of the day. See him up there? Oh, right there. During the nighttime, our sense of sight is very important. However, our sense of hearing is just as important. And sometimes, here in these evenings, you can hear them communicating. Right there on the left, ladies and gentlemen, you have two female lions. They actually do all the hunting while the male actually does all the watching. <laughs> animals right here actually. That's the addicts on the right side. No, absolutely not. Hey guys, if you have any wilderness explorers on board, you were riding the Simba one today. And speaking of Swahili, here in Harambe we don't like to say goodbye because it's much too sad and much too fine. We like to use a Swahili term that means
other options. Message 1. This message was recorded by hotel staff at 6.53 p.m. today. Hiya! It's me, Mickey Mouse. And Minnie Mouse, too. We just wanted to say... Congratulations! Oh, Mickey, isn't it wonderful? They're celebrating their new life together here with us. Oh, it's so romantic. It sure is, Minnie. <laughs> Here's to 